Isometric drawing is a method of making 3D drawing using 2D coordinates. So right now on your screen you can see a drawing which has been made with X and Y coordinates only but it looks like as if it's a 3D drawing. So we'll try to make this drawing using isometric command. To turn isometric on, click on this ISO draft button on status toggle. When you'll turn it on, you'll see its corresponding grid setting changes. So to see the grid setting, click on this grid mode and turn it on. Also when you'll click on this arrow, which is right beside this ISO draft, you'll see these three options. So we have isoplane right, which is right now turned on indicated by this check mark. Click on isoplane top and you'll see that this isoplane now changes. Similarly, you can click on isoplane left and it will shift to the left of your screen as if we are changing the plane in 3D. Now to start making this drawing, let's select this isoplane top and start with polyline command. So click on polyline and click at a random point to start making this drawing. So when I start, I'll start making this drawing, you'll see that a tracking vector now appears which is with respect to the isoplane which we have selected. So right now this vertical uh, tracking vector represents y-axis and you can also turn this ortho mode on and now we'll be able to make lines only in horizontal or vertical direction. So let's keep this ortho mode turned on and let's make a line with length of 100 units. So type 100, press enter. Now go towards right and enter a length of 60 units, press enter. Go towards upward direction, press 100, enter and join with the initial point. Now select copy command, select the rectangle which we have made, press enter, select any point and move it upward. So right now I am not able to move it upward because auto mode is selected. So make sure you turn this off and turn polar tracking on. So when I've turned it on, now I can move it upwards as well. Enter a height of 50 units and press enter. So here we have these two parallel rectangles. Now select line command and join all these corner points. So let's join these points, these two points as well, and these two points as well. So now we have joined all these points. Let's make this cylindrical portion. For making the cylindrical part, you need to select a circle. But in isometric drawing, you cannot make a circle using the circle command. For that, you need to select ellipse command. So go to ellipse, click on this small arrow on the right side of this ellipse command and click on axis and ellipse. Now, when you'll move to your command line, you'll see this ISO circle subcommand. Click on this ISO circle and now specify the center for this rectangular portion. So, for that, we first need to change our ISO plane. So, you can change your ISO plane from here and change it to ISO plane right. Instead of changing your ISO plane from this is status toggle, you can also press F5 key and it will change your isoplane. So right now I'm pressing F5 key and the isoplane is shifting accordingly. So let's keep it in this way. So we want to make a circle on this plane. So keep your isoplane parallel to the plane on which we want to make our circle. Now move your cursor to this point, but don't click and drag it towards right so that a tracking vector appears. Now move your cursor towards upward point and again don't click and track it downwards. Now both the tracking vectors intersect, click here and enter the radius for this circle which is 20 and press enter. So we have made the circle. Now click on copy command again, click on the circle, press enter and go to the center of the circle. Now drag your cursor towards right so that this green tracking vector appears and this is indicating that this circle is now parallel to the initial circle and click at a point which you think is satisfactory. So here is the point. Now we have made these two parallel circles, but still it is not looking as if it's not looking like a cylindrical portion. To make it look like a cylindrical portion, we need to make these two lines. So select line command and now move your cursor close to this point. When you'll move it close to this point, you'll see this quadrant. This quadrant 
might not be turned on in your AutoCAD. To turn it on, click on this small arrow which is right beside object snap and make sure this quadrant object snap is selected. So select this quadrant object snap and now click on this quadrant. Move your cursor and select quadrant from this corresponding set circle as well. Repeat this process for this quadrant as well. So select this quadrant and select the corresponding quadrant and now press enter. So we have made these lines. Now all we need to do is trim all the remaining lines which we don't need. So select trim command, press enter and now let's trim entire internal geometries which we don't need. So we don't need all these geometries. You can also remove this by erasing it. So we have made the cylindrical portion. Although this looks longer than the initial one, but that's fine. We have made the cylindrical portion. Now we need to make this cut section. In order to make this cut section, I'll all again follow the same procedure. So select line command and click at this center point. Now drag your cursor towards right and select a point which you feel suitable enough. So here is the point and now drag your cursor again here and click at this point. Now drag your cursor downwards and click at a point and drag your cursor in this direction and again click here. So we have made it. Now again you need to go towards right but this time don't click anywhere. You may zoom in this area if you want. Now you can see the green tracking vector. Bring your cursor to this point and track it downwards. So when the intersection point appears, click and join it with this point. So we have made the geometries. Here again, we need to trim extra lines. So select trim, press enter and let's trim these extra lines which we don't need. Okay, so I'll delete this line and click on this line and obviously we don't need these extra lines as well so so we have some uh, lines so you can select these lines and delete them Okay, so after trimming all the extra edges, here is the final geometry which we obtain, which is quite similar to the initial geometry. In this way, you can create your isometric drawings.